Hi, welcome to Needle. Needle is ITA Software's cool new platform for collecting and organizing any kind of data online. In this tutorial video, I'll show you how to use Needle to build, from scratch, a small database of tourist attractions. We're going to collect data from both a public website and a CSV file on my local hard drive. All right, let's log in and get started. I'll click Add to begin defining a new domain. We'll give our new domain a name and description. Then we're going to define the domain model. So for starters, we list the types of data that we're going to collect. Attractions, addresses, phone numbers, and descriptions. For each of those, we'll specify the data format so that Needle knows how to normalize that type of data on its way in. For example, addresses will be parsed and geocoded automatically. Phone numbers will be normalized like phone numbers. We can also enter an example for each kind of data. And that's only used on this screen as a helpful cue for making the right decisions on the lower half of the screen, which is where we say how the types of data connect together. In this case, it's very simple. We're just going to say attractions connect to addresses, phone numbers, and descriptions. And that's it. Our data model is saved. All right, let's take a look at the first source that we're going to import data from. It's a website, the State of Nebraska Tourism site. Simple form-driven site where you put in your cities and attraction types. It gives you back a paged list of search results. Each of those can be drilled into for more details. Okay, so to bring this data into Needle, we'll start by typing in the URL. Needle's now loading up the site into this special tagging interface where we're going to use tags to both teach Needle how to navigate the site and how to extract its data. So first, how to fill out this form. We've commandeered the form fields so that we can now have a great deal of control over exactly what Needle does with each element of the form. Here we're telling it to go to arts, culture, and kids fun activities in all Nebraska cities. The search button we will label as a form button. And now up at the top right you'll see a new class of pages called results pages has appeared. Drilling into that we see the paged results list. We're going to mark the next page link as a next page link so Needle knows to follow those. We'll mark the first details link or two as details links, but it would be a pain to do that for all 50, so we'll ask Needle to guess. Our machine learning will generalize from the pattern of tags you've applied. In this case, its guesses are right, so we'll confirm them. They turn green, and we'll move on to the next class of pages, the details pages. Here's where we can actually extract data. So you see there are tagging buttons that correspond to the types in our data model. We will label the regions of text on the page according to what type of data they are. Okay, so now Needle knows about this page. Let's get another example details page. Now here Needle will automatically apply its guesses based on the pattern of the previous page. They're right. Confirm them. We'll get a third example page just to be sure. Alright, now Needle knows the pattern of this website. How to navigate it and how to pull its data. We'll click Done. And back on the Sources page, click Collect Now. Needle will now traverse the website as we've specified and collect its data into our database. Collecting all those pages will take a few minutes. All right, we're back. And we got 142 attractions, along with a similar number of addresses, descriptions, and phone numbers. Before we go inspect that data, let's go ahead and add our second source, which is a CSV file I've got on my local disk. Uploading structured data to Needle is easy. 
we show it as a web page, so you just tag it with the same gestures you would use to tag up a website. So I'll label the attraction address, description, and phone number. Tagging one record is plenty for Needle to make its guesses. We'll confirm those. Hit Done to return to the sources list and collect our second source. This will be quick. All right. 40 more attractions for a total after automatic merging of 175. So let's click there and get into our data. I'll select the address, phone number, and source columns for my attractions data table. You can see that some attractions are sourced from the .gov website, some are sourced from the CSV file. In fact, if we sort on the number of sources, you see that some attractions are sourced from both the website and the CSV. Needles automatically merged any attractions that exactly agreed on their name. What if the sources didn't exactly agree? That's easy to fix. Let's go back to alphabetical and scan down for a pair. Okay, two Bartels museums. To reconcile those into one database node, just drag and drop. From now on, those two strings will always be treated as the same attraction. You can do the same trick on any kind of data, so these two variants of the address can similarly be merged into just one address. Now, finding all those sets of similar names to deduplicate would be painful by hand, so Needle does it for you. Click the red question mark next to any type, and you'll see Needle's grouped listing of possible duplicates. Now, in this case, the first couple pairs look good, but the third group actually shows attractions that are in all different cities. We really don't even want to consider attractions that are in different cities, so we'll add a secondary grouping key which we'll define here as a new arc drilling down through the address into the city. I'll call that column city and save that grouping. Now scanning down it looks like all of Needle's suggestions for duplicate groups are good. So I'll check all those checkboxes and merge all the groups. And that's how you clean data in Needle. We go back to our attractions table, and this data is now more or less clean and ready for us to use. We can export it if we like. Click on the CSV link at the bottom, and we'll just pop the data into Excel. Uh, again, all the data has been geocoded, so we can easily view it on a map. And the data here is still live, so if we want to drill in and keep exploring it, we can. In fact, we can always go back to the original source of any piece of data in the system. So, that wraps up our tutorial tour of Needle. I hope it interested you. And if you've got an application for organizing online data, please sign up on our website. We look forward to working with you.